hey guys welcome back to yet another makeup video Brrr. so guys i cleansed her face with mesilla water as usual and it cuts in part i love this girl's dark skin like can we take a moment to appreciate the dark skin i love her dark skin she's so pretty i can't remember her name so i went into my toner to hydrate the skin getting ready for what is coming his way after that i already it dry down then i went ahead to put my moisturizer this time i used the mismetic moisturizer i'm gonna put out everything i used down the description box for you guys because you guys are my babies you deserve all the goodies so after moisturizer i went ahead to allow it dry i'm still applying my moisturizer yeah i think yeah then i went ahead into my primer I use the Omari Code Primer. Guys, I love the feel of this primer on your skin. Ah! I'm obsessed with this girl's dark skin. Oh my god, I can't even take it anymore. I'm so obsessed. So after that, I went into my mattifying primer. I use the Omari Code Mattifying Primer. I just had to lift up the band so there's no much demarcation. But guess what? I couldn't. So I primed the T-zone. Don't forget T-zone. So I just primed the T-zone and I'll allow it dry down before I go straight into foundation so for foundation you guys know i like to mix my foundation so i just went straight into show you guys me applying the foundation with a flat brush after that i'm going to spray a oh i didn't even spray i'm sorry guys you can either you can either spray before or after or you can spray for the boots after and before so i didn't spray yet. i didn't actually sprayed so i just went into blending with my damp beauty blender from Mira Cosmetics, and I'm showing you guys the match because I'm obsessed, of course. So I went, took my time to blend, 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 and after that, I am done with the foundation match, guys. Do you think this is a perfect match for her, or you think it's too dark, or you think it's too light? After that, she's already dark, so I just had to stick on top. Even if she's dark, I feel like this is the foundation I can still contour her. So I contoured her. I contoured her from the beginning of her year upward motion that's how i contoured after that i went ahead to apply my blush guys you know how much i obsessed with dark skin so i applied my blush on her i used a wine color blush which is dark so i can't be using colors like orange all those bright colors after that i went into my concealer i applied concealer a shade lighter than her as you can see i don't want it too light i don't want it too dark so just one shade lighter than her that's what i applied and i'll blend it very well into the skin and i like dry a little before i apply my setting powder for setting powder you guys know what i'll be using already i'll be using the merak setting powder in the shade i'm sorry guys the reason why you see that some clip already i've already done something before you see that because i was also filming for instagram and I'm doing, I'm doing everything myself, so I have to pause and start and start. But you guys don't need that information. So I set all the places I would highlight it with my concealer. These are all the places I will put powder, setting powder. That's what I will put there. So I put in the t on the T zone, under the eyes, forehead, the nose, and my chin. As I'm sure you can see what I'm doing. Guys, the trick to makeup is just blending. If you know how to blend, your blending game is top notch. Trust me, you won't find it's so difficult so after that i'm just showing you guys what it looks like before i will put the full powder so i went in with an exact shade of powder guys doesn't even feel like there's powder on her face i'm so proud of myself i went to the exact shade of powder and i used this fluffy brush i can't remember the name of this brush but it's one of my go-to i love this brush so much i feel like it deposits the right amount of powder i want on the client's face so I went in to further put powder on all the places I did not highlight. After that, I went into my powder palette still to contour her face. So I'm contouring the same place I did the wet contour. I'm just doing the same thing with the dry contour. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll do the same thing for my blush too. She's smiling for me right now so I can get the apple lover cheek. <laughs> so I just contoured her face and I'm also putting blush. Same color I use for blush is what I'm also using right now for the powdered blush. So I will just put it and I'll blend it very well into her skin. And I'm also doing my nose contour. Guys, I think I didn't do nose contour in cream. Yeah, I didn't do that. So I just went straight into powder nose contour. You can skip this stage if you don't want to do cream. Or you can do both of them. Anyone that works for you. Depends on the mood I'm in. So this mode is just powder contour. 
so i went into the same shade i used for a face contour for a nose contour so i just used it to create that snatched nose guys this thing you don't rush it forget that it looks like i'm fast but guess what i'm not rushing it after that i will bake with the same setting powder in setting the face the mirac in nutmeg so i will bake so that i will have that snatched slim nose effect and i will bake the face too so that i have that raised face so my face doesn't look like it's drawling it looks raised up so after i'm done with that i will go straight into my brows oh i'm so sorry guys i was filming for instagram so i was just i'm sorry so i did my brows off camera right now i'm using the eyeshadow base because i'm about to apply eyeshadow so i'm using a base eyeshadow base and i'll blend it thoroughly so there's no demarcation or hash line before i go straight into my eyeshadow so i'll be using the same powder i used for a nose contour yeah i'll just use it as my transition color to keep it still looking natural so there are different colors guys for transition color whatever works with you that's fine but they are, they are mostly neutral colors I love to use my powder palette, the one I use for my nose contour. I, that's what I love to use and do my transition. So I'll just transition it so that there's no so much difference between the eyebrows and the eyeshadow. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm doing that now. After that, I will go into the main eyeshadow. I know I'm wasting time. Okay, I'm blending. Okay, I'm just setting under the brows with powder because I still just want to have that what well transition look. So I go into a smaller brush and I'll just deposit the color of eyeshadow I want to use. So I uh, I don't want something too out like too loud. So I'm still maintaining the brown shade. I just still want to maintain everything to be brown. So I will do that for you all. After that, I will go everything, guys. Just watch. I think at this point, you just need to watch to understand. But all I'm doing right now is just putting eyeshadow colors on her to make it pop so after that i'll apply the main color so i'm using this nude shade here in for my eyeshadow palette as my main transition as my main color sorry so i just I, I, like i said guys i wanted to get everything stay brown i didn't want something so shouty so i'll just apply the same thing on the other eyes i am not sweeping i'm dabbing doesn't that make sense i'm dabbing the product on the eyes i'm not sweeping it like yeah so i'll just dab because if you sweep it will create patches there so I'll just dab, then I'll blend in with another transition color. I'll blend in the demarcation of what I had done before and this new one so that there's no demarcation line, there's no crease line, there's no demarcation line, there, or there's no hash line rather. So I'll just blend them very well using another nude shade as I'll use the blending. After that, I just applied this little dark, I use, applied black. There's something about black eyeshadow on dark people. <laughs> then you guys have noticed. So I applied it black and I'm still blending with a brown color so that it's well blended. After that, I went ahead to apply my pigments glue for my glitters. I want to apply pigments or glitters rather on her face. Okay, I applied the pigment, not the glitters. So I applied pigments on her face and I went into using my hands. The brush wasn't doing it for me, so I just went straight into my hands to do it. So I can get to every corner I want to get to. Guys, are you seeing how these eyes looks like? Oh, I love the glow. After that, I went into my black pencil from Merak in charcoal to line a waterline. So I will line a waterline. So it gives me that black. I see the difference between when I lined it and when I had not lined it. So further in, I'm smudging an under eye with the same brown and black eyeshadow so that my waterline will pop out for me. So after that, I just went straight. I'm still lining yeah guys so i'm dusting off the essence what fallout the fallout i'm just not the fallout of my pigments on her eyes and i'm going back to blend all what is left because we are about to be done with this makeup so after i'm done i don't know what i was doing here what was i doing here? me and the model okay i went into because of the fact she's very dark i knew that normal brown lipstick would not work so i went into my liner my eyebrow definer that's what I used to line her, her, her lips, the brown shade in it. It's quite dark, so that's why it's actually showing. So I'm lining her lips with the dark brown. Yes, I'm just lining out the lips. I don't really like an overlined lips. I think sometimes I don't really like it. So I'm just leaving it. I'm just following the exact lip shape. I'm not adding extra to her. So I'm lining her lips and I'm using this small brush 
so that I can get into the right corners I want to get into. So after I'm done lining her lips, I will blend away everything so there's no demarcation, there's no harsh line. Yeah, I'm just still lining, guys. So after lining, I don't even know I was wasting time all these times. So I'm blending away what I lined so that there's no much demarcation before I go ahead to add another lip color on her. I don't know that I said I made my client, my, my model blush. <laughs> so I already, see guys, that there's no more demarcation of the lined lips. So I went ahead to apply this color as my main base color for the lip. And she'll smack a lip and I'll blend it for guys. The game, the trick to this makeup is just to blend. Anything you're doing, you need to blend it very well. Once you can blend, you're good to go. So I'll blend it very well. I'll take my time to blend out all the demarcations, all the harsh lines. So there's no demarcation between the two colors. Yes, guys, I see. So I'm blending it very, very well. Yeah, I'm using a small brush to blend it. So I, I don't want to blend it with the brown. I still like the brown I'm getting in it. So I'm just blending it a little. So I just apply that same color to make the, to make the center pop more. Yeah, <sighs> guys, I love what I'm saying, don't you? So, oops, I added another brighter color. I think I wanted the center to pop more, so I added a brighter color. I think I added a little bit of white from my lip palette just to make it pop. After that, I will blend again just so that there's no demarcation showing that I added another extra color. So, I'll blend the lips, and after blending the lips, you guys know me now, I must use gloss. It's not possible. I'm a gloss girl, so I'll definitely use gloss. So I just left it like that. I went back to apply mascara on my model. So because I'm about to put what lashes on her. So I my mascara and I'm about to put my first lash. I'll just do the same thing over the other eyes. So I think the lashes, I, I can't remember the lashes I used there. But like I said guys, I'm going to check everything and just let you guys know. So I applied my first lash on my model. Guys, there's something about makeup and lashes. It gives it another look entirely just watch this look go from five to ten in three two and oh, am i still waiting and one Oosh! guys lashes does it for me so i just went ahead to see for that blend the under eyes and remove all the setting powder i have there I have to blend it so that there is no demarcation, like I said, guys. So well, this is me blending, blending, blending. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section. I'm willing to answer your questions. Any part you are watching and you don't really understand, let me know in the comment section, guys. I will help you guys and answer all the questions and I will carry you guys along with me very well. And let me also know the kind of videos you want me to do, the kind of eye looks you want me to do, the kind of makeup you want me to do. After that, I went into my Juba spray to set my face because we are done with all the products. It's time to set the face and put the last things guys guys are you seeing this are you seeing this look so i went into my cheek glaze this is like a wet balm blush yeah i think that makes sense so i went into it to apply blush into the face i need to add a little bit of color on it so that my girl will pop so i went into my cheek glaze and i applied a little bit of color on the cheek parts where i applied my blush i just tapped a little on it not so much guys a little a little goes a long way in this blush hope you guys are enjoying this video so far so this is me applying mascara let me know in the comment section what questions you want to ask and i'll answer them i love you guys so much thank you so much for always watching my videos thank you for supporting me i'll see you guys in another video but guys enjoy the remaining look bye my loves don't forget to subscribe as always bye